everyone welcome to my vlog today we are traveling to switzerland because i am one of the casters or broadcast talent rather for the fifa e fame her game finals in zurich at the fifa museum i think it's pronounced zurich actually but I'm currently in London. I stayed at the Hyatt. My flight is at 12 p.m. So I thought I might as well just come to London last night. So I would have, I wouldn't have to worry about traveling in the morning, especially in the UK. Train delays, etc. Train yesterday was already delayed, like half, like an hour or more. So I didn't want to, I didn't want to risk it pretty much. But I'm currently at the Hyatt. It's 8. 32 a.m. My flight's at 12. I need to be at the airport for 9, but I'm only staying at one of... Am I still recording? Yeah, I am. I'm only staying at one of the Heathrow hotels, so the terminal and the airport, if it wants to zoom in any slower, the airport's literally there. So I'm really, really close by, and my dad... Oh, this is close. My dad messaged me to make sure I was awake and he said I was leaving it a little late to get to the airport but I'm not gonna take the bus I'm still really zoomed in maybe that's just me but I'm not gonna take the bus there's a bus that runs I think it's the U3 bus but you know it's 8 30 in the morning the sun's out it's about 10 15 minute walk so I'm just gonna walk it I'm I like walking I need to start walking more It'll help wake me up it'll help start my day right so we're going to walk to the app walk to the airport now We are now in Switzerland. This is stunning. My view, I'm on the opposite side in the same hotel, so I don't have this view. But we're now in Switzerland. It is 5 12 pm Switzerland time. We have about an hour and a half before we have a team dinner. So I'm gonna walk around, take some photos, probably shop a little bit, and then come back for dinner. But today is pretty much our free day i need to go get my sunglasses and my earrings because i don't have anything on my ears but yeah that is it bye good morning everyone it is now the next day today is i don't know what day is it 14th 15th i think today is the 15th of june we are just heading over to the museum now so all the casters and the girls the players are already there practicing the group stages aren't being streamed but it starts at 1 30 p.m but we're gonna go and head over now it is currently 11 30 a.m today is pretty much going to be a day for us to sort of get a feel of how everything's gonna go get to know the players watch the results ahead of the knockouts tomorrow but the good thing about this is that in a way this is giving a platform for so many girls in fifa esports that a lot of these girls are in a way sort of unknown a lot of them don't stream they don't create content so this is giving them the platform to really raise their voice and show their talents and just give exposure to these girls so i'm really looking forward to today to get to know a lot of these new girls just see how good a lot of them are and just get to know the talent and levels in fifa esports so we're just gonna head over now i am wearing a leather jacket oh might have just flashed you my underwear i am just wearing a, a leather jacket it is warm in switzerland but i'm presuming that the museum is going to be quite cold and i've only got like a tank top kind of thing underneath so i'm just gonna wear this jacket plus these, this zara jacket you guys these um pockets here are incredible you can put your phone your camera passport whatever everything in it so that's what i'm gonna use but yeah i'll see you guys at the museum hello lisa hello. how are you feeling i'm good although my it's practice okay. games didn't go too well but they know you got your airports it's lisa's airport case <laughs> lisa's nails hey they're amazing <laughs> good luck thank you thank
and he's only 16 years old, so, so young, being having to perform in this arena. I mean, how would it feel? We just see Mbappe here at the edge of the byline, passing it in, saved again. I mean, we have seen, you know, Raquel do that quite a few times. She's driving it to the byline and trying to pass it in. And I mean, you both of us, we do play FIFA. We know that that is a little bit broken in the game where the byline, you pass it in, it tends to go in. But halftime, nil-nil as we go across to the other game between Cecilia and Yuzra. Halftime, soon coming close, but 2-0 to Brazil. I mean, you watched Cecilia play just a couple weeks ago. She won the ECL Global LAN event, but we can't write Yuzra off. You know, she's pretty unknown, but on the ground, everyone's saying she is one to watch. So they could potentially still come back from this. You know, it's not game over. Nine minute halves as well. It's unfortunate to get a penalty so early on, but I mean, she looks calm. I think she's fine. But and switches sides of play into Hakimi, doing a lot of twisting and turning, lots of roulettes, step overs into the byline. Is she going to pass it in? Yes, she does go for Raquel. She makes it 2-0 on aggregate. I mean, Look at her face. You know, you have those players that just sometimes they score and they're like, yeah, I scored. There has also been an early goal in the Brazil game. 1-0 to Brazil, 4-0 on aggregate. We are seeing the goal here. Neymar into that byline. Very, very similar to Raquel. I mean, they are really using that mechanic of into the byline, cross it in, or low drift, pass it in. And, you know, I think that seems to be what's working here. Similar goals, similar times on both sides. But, I mean, just look at Cecilia. She's very similar to Raquel, I think. Very calm and don't really, doesn't really show much emotion. Mbappe through, potentially. Is she going to make it six? Yes, she does. Six nil to Cecilia on aggregate. I mean, we knew she was one of the favorites going into this. She hasn't let that pressure get to her, has she? Over to Casey and Alia. Yeah, vamos indeed, Rachel. You, I don't think I've ever heard you say that so much in such a short period of time. But welcome back to the commentator's desk. We are here for the first semi-final of the day. And it's a big one, isn't it, Casey? Raquel and Cecilia. Box, but again, very, very quickly saved by Cecilia as she tries to drive it forward into the box with Mbappe with a borrow scoop. Borrow again into Hullet. Back to Mbappe, Cecilia, Neymar are nine! Goal for Brazil! Cecilia leads 1-0 in the semi-final. I mean, wow. And it does look like Cecilia actually has someone in her ear. I know her brother's helping her, but I think she probably has a coach back home in Brazil helping as well. And, you know, her brother's a pro player. So I wonder, does she think maybe the coach would be better in this situation? Because I have a brother, I know you have a brother as well. Sometimes you don't really want your brother telling you what to do. <laughs> Potentially it, uh, oh my goodness, I lost my words there because I, I don't think we saw that coming. But Raquel nearly pulled one back, but unfortunately she did not. But she is being more risky. I think Raquel knows that she just has to go for it. She can't be as possession based because she's 2-0 down and it's almost half time and she still hasn't managed to pull one back. There's been multiple times where she could have put it in the box, she didn't, chose to pass it back but Bellingham currently with the ball, she tries to shoot from out the box and she does! 3-0 to Cecilia! Brazil are your first finalists for the FIFA E Fame Her Game Bootcamp, a massive 4-0 win in that semi-final, just hugging her brother and Tata. I mean, massive, massive moment for her. It's, it's very nerve-wracking, you know, playing at home compared to playing at land. Just lights everywhere. You can hear the commentators, you can hear the hosts. It's a very, very big deal. So I think we're starting to see it a little bit more. Cecilia showing her personality more. Diana's been yelling vamos pretty much the whole time. So I think the more events they do and the more opportunities women get, the more comfortable they'll get and we'll just start seeing their personalities come out more. Welcome back to the Casters Desk for the final time today. We have reached the finals of the FIFA E Fame Her Game Bootcamp. Cecilia versus Fabian. Casey, talk us through that matchup. Into R9, passes it through back to Vinny, into Nkunku at the edge of the box. Is she going to far post? Yes, she does. Hulet! 1 0! 
to Cecilia for Brazil. Wow. I, yeah, but who knows? Now that we say it, she's probably going to do it. <laughs> probably. I mean, we saw it happen earlier. Cecilia makes it to nil just like that. Commentators curse from us. R9, Brazilian legend as well. I mean, Cecilia, we just see the emotion coming from her. Fabi looks a little bit frustrated, but still very, very calm. As we come to the end of the first leg of the FIFA E Fame Her Game final, Cecilia goes into the second leg, currently 2-0 up against Fabian. I think very, very close game, but did we expect Fabian to maybe have more chances and be a little bit more risky? You know, I think from this tournament, this is more than just them competing. This is them being able to gain overall confidence, meet more people, improve their mental skills. A lot of the girls have never traveled before outside of their country and been on planes and stuff like that is just so important. And they're going to remember this of the first time I flew on a plane, I competed and represented my country. Be so quick and reactive in FIFA, but we do see Cecilia here on the attack again, passes it back into R9. Is she gonna lose possession? No, back in front of goal for Cecilia. 3-0 on aggregate again with R9. I mean, this is frustrating for Fabi, isn't it? She's had so many chances over and over again, but Cecilia's just countering and scoring, and we've seen that so many times before. A lot of her goals have come from counter-attacks. Slight tackle, being more aggressive with her defending. The through ball into Mbappe. Is she going to get through? Yes, she does. Are we going to see a goal? Fabian, 3-1 on aggregate. She manages to pull a goal back. 30 minutes left in this game. Casey, I mean extra time might be on the cards here. She's done it all competition, but especially now with how aggressive Fabi's being. She has to play more attacking. Tries to go on the byline. Does she have a pen? Penalty to Brazil. The chance for Cecilia to make it 4-1 and take a three-goal lead. Will she score here? Yes, she does. Straight down the middle. Cecilia for Brazil. One step closer to being crowned the queen of FIFA. And I mean, just having bragging rights. Just one minute left, Cecilia, you are 30 seconds away from being the champion of the FIFA E Fame Her Game bootcamp. Cecilia, you are the champion and the new queen of FIFA. Congratulations and well done to Fabi and every girl. All 24 of you that competed in this tournament. I mean, this has just been an incredible tournament. It's been great being your commentators alongside Sam Miller, Casey and Inter. It's been a great tournament and hopefully we see more to come. But we are going to send you guys back to Inter. Hello everyone. We have now finished for the day at the FIFA E Fame Her Game. It was an incredible event. Me and Casey were casting together. Inter and Sam were casting together. Rachel was hosting. We all were going on main broadcast to get interviewed. But it's fine. Don't worry. But yes, that's the end of my vlog. Bye. <laughs> Sorry, I did it's fine.